Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited to put this video out as we have lots of new news regarding my own team and a lot of your own team because a lot of you are para fans. If you are not a para fan and you are a fan of the channel, welcome. Uh, but today we're going to be speaking about the Parramatta Eel. Now, there are two signings for the Parramatta Eels and there has been a lot going on this offseason involving the club and I'll be speaking about that and my thoughts on those decisions. This video has been very hard to make for me, saying goodbye to some great players. However, there's been some good signings, and the other thing to come out of this is some really nice 2022 jerseys. So let's break it down. One of the best forwards and seasons of the competition went to Parramatta Eels, Isaiah Papalihi. We signed him and we've pretty much departed him. He won the Ken Thornett medal this year, which was fantastic to see. And I think he definitely deserved it as well. And I'm a little bit shocked that Parra didn't do more to wrap up this bloke. I absolutely love him. Um, I think he's got a huge future. He's come a long way since the Warriors and we've seen him get better and better. I think he was quieter in the second half of the season rather than in the first. But look, seeing Isaiah going to the West Tigers in 2023, so Tigers fans, something to be very excited about. I should make a video about teams and their signings. The Tigers are recruiting okay from what I've seen, but Isaiah Papalihi, if you don't know, will depart the Eels in 2023. Still no word on Junior Paulo while we're speaking about front rowers. He is rumoured to be coming off contract and honestly wouldn't surprise me if he ends up at the Dolphins, but I hope I'm wrong. Now, I wish this was a joke, and this one really does hurt. Parramatta have struggled over the years with hookers. It's a known fact, but Reid Marnie, since 2018, has been a very consistent hooker. He's brought something new to the game of rugby league. I have loved watching him, and it's sad that this will be my final year watching him in the blue and gold. This made me really, really upset, and this is probably one of the parts that it was so hard to make this video and speak about my opinion because Reed is probably my favourite player on the Parramatta Eels team. It comes close between Mitchell Moses and Reed Marnie, but for me, he just brings something so unique. It's a great signing for the Bulldogs. They have a great team brewing in the background, whether the coaching style and the format can work, um, but Marnie is an absolutely fantastic signing, so i just got to say congratulations to the Bulldogs fans on this pickup, and hopefully Marnie continues his form, makes an origin debut shortly. Even the 2022 season would be absolutely brilliant for him, as I know that he wants it. Now, Marnie's replacement for 2023 has obviously been announced overnight, and it's Josh Hodgson from the Raiders. Now, this is an interesting one for me. There are a few candidates that I thought about. Reese Robson from the Cowboys, I thought could have potentially fit in with the team, but the more I think about it, I like this signing. Josh Hodgson was leading the NRL in steals, bringing steals to the game in, in 2018, 2019 consistently. If you can get back to that form, um, like Marnie, his kicking game, he can kick 40, 20, he knows how to kick sometimes. But if it was personally up to me, I'd probably keep Reed Marnie at the club and develop him more and more and just see how he goes because um, he's, he's just brilliant. But I'm pretty happy with this signing overall. I would pref I, I prefer it over the talks of uh, Sam Verrills was someone who was thrown into the equation. I think Jacob Little was thrown into the equation, but Reese Robson, Appy Corusau, and Josh Hodson were the three for me that I kind of narrowed it down to. So to see this signing news, I was pretty impressed overall. Now, this is a signing to be happy about. The winger position, obviously Sevo on one side, Blake Ferguson departing the club. Plenty of choices in regards to Hayes Dunster, who spent quite a bit of time in the 2021 side. And then you've got young Sean Russell developing. But I'll tell you what, Bailey Simonson, he's young, he's a workhorse, he does a lot for that Raiders team. I can't wait. And the fact that he's not coming in 2023, like a lot of other players are, he's actually coming next year in 2022 with the likes of Papa Leahy, with the likes of Marnie, they're going to be throwing the ball out to Bailey's wing. 
I think this is a great signing. I'm really, really happy to have Bailey Simonson at the club. I believe we've got a little video on the channel with a rated. I'll try and find it and put it in the description, having a chat with Bailey after the game. He's played fullback as well. He's played a bit of fullback there, but obviously his main position on the wing. But I'm really, really happy for Bailey to officially be an EEL for 2022. Well, that's the signing news out of the way. Let's talk about these jerseys. The 2022 jerseys look great, in my opinion. I think the white alternate design last year was quite nice, and they've gone with that again, so that's why it's not pictured on the screen as the alternate, I guess, maybe magic round jersey, but it could be worn at other times. But you've got this early... 2000s very late 90s kind of feel about the jersey with the alien sponsor there nice stripes all round i think at the bottom it's not pictured here maybe the jersey that dylan brown was given to model with was too big it looked a little bit rugged down the bottom and and off center um but it might have just been the way the photo was taken as well but i really like this home jersey i am a fan i will probably cop one the only thing, I think the yellow being where your shoulders are, um, around the arms there, I don't know about that. I, I don't know, but I might do a video ranking some other NRL jerseys to compare it to that. As for the away jersey there, I probably won't purchase it, but I, I'm not saying it's not a nice jersey. Uh, looks a little bit weird with the V-neck right down the bottom, not looking towards your parts, you know, but I think the blue works really well there um, compared to the yellow being around your arms in that underneath the Actron Air sponsor. But I really like these jerseys. I'm a big fan and it's almost Christmas. So hopefully you can get yourself one from your parents. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a comment below which uh, signing you're looking forward to the most for the Eels, Bailey Simonson or Josh Hodson, Bailey next year and Josh coming in 2023. Also, let me know what you think of the jerseys. As I said, hopefully everybody gets a jersey for Christmas if you are a Parramatta fan or you get some awesome NRL merch. I'll probably see you guys before Christmas. It's still a few weeks, but thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later.